So what we are looking at here are three uh, simulations that we have set up uh, for the public uh, to learn about complex systems using uh, coding and some simple interactions with the screen. Uh, this particular simulation actually shows how a set of objects uh, just follow a simple path uh, using the laws of vector dynamics. Uh, so there is not much complexity going on here. It's pretty simple and easy to predict. This, however, is another interesting variant uh, where something completely different is happening as a result of very simple changes to this particular model. So in this particular simulation, what we are seeing are these, are these red triangles. They are all interacting with uh, other triangles immediately surrounding them through simple interactions, like uh, they're trying to avoid uh, uh, other neighbors within uh, reaching them within a certain distance. They're trying to align and then cohere with other neighbors too. And then the patterns that we see, the groups and the flocks that are forming, they actually come out unplanned uh, through the sum of these interactions, these simple rules of interactions. Uh, this particular simulation is another variant of this middle one. Uh, and here what we see is that the flocks that are forming are really unstable. And, uh, and the reason it's unstable is because uh, instead of aligning, cohering, and separating, uh, what's happening is that each of these little uh, bards that we call voids in computer science, uh, these voids are actually separating a lot more and aligning and cohering comparatively a lot less. And the way we have designed these simulations is not only to allow for interactions that are touched based on the screen, but they also allow you to make deeper changes to the code that produces these simulations. For example, with very simple commands, I can just change the background color here and it will become something completely different. Or I could change uh, how the little boys are interacting with one another. And every Friday, uh, we hold public workshops for anyone uh, who's in the space and we show them how to make changes to the code. So it really makes not just an exhibit or an installation that someone else has designed, but it really becomes an exhibit of the public and for the public and by the public.